and welcome to the Excelsior Stadium, or the Penny Car Stadium as it's known, formerly the home of Glasgow City, but they are the way team here today for match day three of the SWPL1, and they are up against Motherwell, managed by Eddie Welkeback, the former Glasgow City head coach, of course. Had uh, one or two good results, good nights at the Excelsior, but City now an away team here, and we're looking to get going with a, a tricky game, potentially in prospect after the midweek 120 minutes on penalties. Before the match, it's our pause for reflection on Remembrance Sunday. Clark for Ross, the two at the back today. Yeah, Clark played last week as well in the league game. Lovely ball for Wine. Have to watch the attentions there of Connor. In here for Colville. Howitt, Lurkin, and Georgia Crooks. It's a half away, but McLaughlin's going to fire in. It's a bit of a trademark this season so far as Howitt looked to ping in there. Here's Wojcik on the edge of the box. Look at that bounce up of Howitt's hand. F3 says play on. Back with McLaughlin. Trying to faint past Rice. And towards Colville. It's a sneaky early chance in the game for Glasgow City. Came to really quickly for Colville. Just four minutes on the clock. McLaughlin's dagger balls in. To say it's been a trademark so far. In the early season, but Colville couldn't ping it on target. So Ross wants more from the corner. Davidson was the one at the near post. Crichton's hooked it off the crossbar. Will anyone get a second stab at it? It's fell for Colville. Bit of a heavy pass for Toland. Mother of reset their defence. Well, Leon Crichton with the best chance of the game so far. Not been too many clear cut chances. It's the closest city of Cape. Just a little flick towards goal. Acrobatic a little bit. And it nearly went in. Good turn from Gardner. Oh, it's into the roof of the net. One of those cross come shots, but didn't fall on the right side for Gardner. But just made Clackers mindful. And the City defence. Nice from Wojcik, good turn, and it's a decent stop as well on Tibet. Good effort that was. Wojcik looking to find a goal in Glasgow City colours. Good run here on side, however, this time. In towards Colville. And that was a big, big chance to take the lead. It's taken a Motherwell nick for a corner. But for the lovely ball down the channel, how it almost placed it for Colville. But similar to midweek in the Champions League, City have been frustrated here in the rain in Airdrie. It is Motherwell nil, Glasgow City nil. Adams with the Motherwell delivery. It's not cleared and Callahan's effort has taken a deflection away, a defensive head away for another corner. It's a decent opportunity that was for the home team. Mead picks back up here for City. Ross didn't quite find anyone, but here's Toland. What oh, came off a city player. Davidson doesn't get 
Enough on that, Wade might help it back. McLaughlin on the other side. Handball is it, it's a penalty to Glasgow City. And potentially the chance now, I think it was Rice. Bounce off of heart. And now perhaps the, the breakthrough can come. So Leon Ross. And into the corner in the 63rd minute. Leon Ross is 185th Glasgow City League goal. And uh, it's been a frustrating, frustrating afternoon, but the deadlock broken. Very comfortable in the corner. Just like in Wednesday night in the shootout against Piemont. And City this time will have the lead in regulation time. Going in towards Colville. McLaughlin. Oh, it's tipped away. But there's Joe Love and there's number two and there's a bit more security off the bench. Joe Love puts that breathing space in the two sides. It's always that thing, and always with City, when they tend to get one, they tend to get the second not long after. 67 minutes on the clock. Joe Love adding to the tally with slightly an orthodox position, but managed to just get a leg around it and finish for number two. <laughs> Wayne fully is around. Here's Toland, and that's a smashing finish from Tyler Toland. First goal and loan. And that's 3-0 now, Glasgow City. It's three goals in just over seven minutes. I'll make that the first Irish player for City to score here at this ground since Katie McKay against Hibbs back in 2017. Came through to Megan Foley because of a presence in the centre. And then fell kindly to smash it home. Comes through for Colville. By one, by another. And an effort which takes a nick for a corner, not the goal, though. Great run underneath a Colville. Just quite the finish at the end, but did take a nick. And that's the final whistle from our rainy Airdrie. And a crucial seven or eight minute spell at the midway point of the second half as we're ticking towards that, where Glasgow City were frustrated by Motherwell, who were similar to, I guess, P Mount in midweek for numbers in defence and but then a penalty came from Leon Ross in the 63rd minute to open the scoring and just like what City tend to do, they tend to score more than one in quick succession and this time they scored twice in quick succession with Joe Love finishing off from close range to make it two and then Tyler Toland with a first goal for the club on loan from Manchester City with a nice close range bullet to see things through for Glasgow City, three wins out of three, three goals to nil Hibs at Cumbernauld next up in the, the next big game of this SWPL1 campaign. Final score, Motherwell nil, Glasgow City 3.